Hello everyone and welcome to another weekly shop my stash video. In these type of videos we talk about the products that we had last week and then in the other half of the video we are going to uh, shop my stash for the next week. But first let's do the youtube thingy and um, try to subscribe if you're interested in such videos also some reviews i'm doing some short videos now because i am super busy but also i am doing gratis video from sephora so if you're interested in any of that go ahead and uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of videos now let's get into it this week i have um, a bunch of good products um some really nice ones and some okay ones i don't have anything really that is bad like last week so let's get into it let's talk about this remember last week i was not sure if i like it what's going on i told you it was feeling super refreshing which is it is it's really refreshing also has a little bit of hydrating effect to uh to on the skin but i would not say this one helps my foundation to last um it does make it um look a little nicer on the skin but not necessarily last longer than what it usually does i would say this is an okay product it's not something amazing but it's okay it works okay so i'll take this one out and then the two foundation that i had i had the laura mercier and number seven foundation uh lift and luminate I like this one more than this one. I like the number seven more, and number seven actually it is more ex is it is less expensive. This is a drugstore one, and Laura Mercier it is expensive. It's uh you find it at Sephora, and I would have to say this one does not last on me as long as this one. This one dries down like an like you don't wear anything. This one is a little bit more wet on the skin but i did combine the two a couple of times and i really did enjoy how the two looked and then i only played with this one one day and only with this one the other day and i liked this one way more it lasted on my skin way longer than this one did so um if i would have to choose which one was better definitely this one but if i would have to choose which one i would definitely go for in a heartbeat it will be this one um so i'm gonna take both of these out because we're gonna put something different this week and then for concealers i had the neutrogena one and then i had this one from the balm this is the time balm i thought the time balm is not gonna look that amazing on my under eyes but actually it is really nice i was presently surprised how nice this looked under my eyes i did apply it with a brush so that i think worked out better than applying it with a uh, sponge so i would recommend try to apply this with a brush if you have it and you'll like it better than with a, with a sponge the neutrogena one i already know that i like so i'm gonna take both of these out for uh this week and uh let's see next in here i had the ofra powder and the kkw one i'm gonna open them up for you so as you can see the Ofra one it is pretty used up and i really do like this one i liked it this week as well it was really nice under the eyes i have not used this one this week so i'm gonna take both of them out for this week and uh, i'm gonna put something different in this week and then the other powder that i had it was this one from nola mercier i would say be careful with this one it could be a little bit drying if you apply too much so um make sure you don't apply too much of this because um my car can give you a little bit of a drying effect but it does set your uh foundation really nice so there you go i had this one and then the uh bronzer from kiko milano i have mine in dolce diva this is beautiful let me open up 
this is how this one looks like it's absolutely gorgeous smells delicious i really do enjoy this one very very beautiful on the skin uh nicely blending within my skin tone i love love this uh bronzer i'm gonna take this one out as well and then the uh, highlighter i had this one from Too faced this is really pretty i think i'm gonna keep this one for next week as well i really do enjoy this one and then the blushes i have these ones from sugary cosmetics i would have to say when i bought them last year they were a little bit easier to blend I can be now it kind of gave me a little bit of a problem like it gave me a little bit of patchiness here and there uh, when I was trying to blend it in the end I was able to blend it all but it took me a little bit longer of a time so I I'm a little bit surprised I'm not sure if it's like the formula is getting to dry it out or whatever is happening because it was really nice up until a couple of months ago so i'm not sure what happened there but i'm gonna take this one out as well now let's talk about these um charlotte tilbury new products in my collection that i tried this week the mascara this one is very beautiful very lengthening um separates every lash coats every lash it looks really pretty it stays on all day long i don't have any problems um it does curl as well the only thing is it does not have enough volume for what i'm usually um used to i like a little bit more volume than lengthen lengthening but if you want lengthening this is the mascara for you but this is a really nice mascara it's just i need something else on with it to get that volume that i want now the two products for uh brows are beautiful oh my god this pencil it is insanely pigmented very very pigmented very easy to fill in any gaps that you have especially if you have a lot to fill in this is so easy to do so and then if you want to feather it out at the end you can apply the brow gel very good products very i like them a lot i'm glad i did purchase them so i'm gonna take uh, i'm gonna take the mascara out but i'm gonna keep the uh brow product in Another product from Charlotte Tilbury was this uh, liner, which is kind of like a plum, very pretty. I'm going to put a picture up here so you can see uh, how I used it in one of the one of the looks that I created. But this is a really nice one. I really do enjoy this uh, pencil, um, but I'm going to take this one out as well. Another pencil, I mean another two new pencils that I had, liners that I had were these two. Okay, this one from one size is amazing. It's so easy to glide on the eye. I cannot believe it. I never tried this one and nobody talks, really nobody talks about this one. This is an amazing liner and very, very good price. It stays, it's super dark and it stays super dark all day it does not move it doesn't have any problems whatsoever but what i like the most is the um, how easy it is to glide this on your eyes super easy and then this one from sephora very beautiful color this one you have to go over it a couple of times to give you the intensity that you want but it's also a nice product as well once it dries down it's not gonna budge it's not gonna move all day very good product i'm gonna keep the the one from one size for another week as well and i'm gonna take this one out from sephora now for a lip product i only had these two i had this one from ColourPop, the lipsticks in who run this yes and this is a beautiful color so pretty i really did enjoy it it's so easy to wear it is long lasting i really like the color sticks from ColourPop. very very nice ones and then of course the the other product i had this one the lip glow from dior this is in zero one let me open it so you can see how it looks so this is how uh, much i have left in it this is how it looks like absolutely gorgeous beautiful very hydrating 
I love this so much. Um, I've been talking about this every week, but I'm definitely going to take it out right now and put something different in. The last three products that I had were this one. I created a couple of looks with Huda Beauty. Um, I like it. It was nice. I don't know. Every time I feel like this is such a colorful product when I pull it out. But then if you cover a couple of them, it's not, it's not that colorful. You see what I mean? I mean, it's very neutrally kind of palette. I created some nice uh, eye looks, but... I wasn't necessarily that impressed with it. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted a little bit more color. I thought I am going to have more color, but not necessarily. And the uh, eyeshadow primer from Milani, I do like it. I'm going to take that out. The Stay Spray from Tarte didn't do much to, for me. Honestly, I don't know if it worked anything. But um, they didn't damage my foundation. So, I would say that's good thing um but i'm gonna keep it in because it doesn't have much left in it so i would like to finish it so i'm gonna keep this one in for next week as well and i'm gonna take these two out now before we go into my drawers i have some new products that i want to try this week so i'm gonna put them in i have this one from uh, melissa eldridge velvet dragon this is a really nice color this is how it looks like. I'm going to swatch it at the end. I did try it already and I do like it, but I want to put it in for this week. So it kind of see how it works all week long. And along with that, I'm going to put this Dior uh, liquid lipstick in um, A20. Um, I want to try it and see how this one looks like. And I want to see if it's very long lasting because that's what I heard. And I want to see if that's true. And then I'm going to add a new mascara. This is from Ilia. This is the uh, Fullest Voluminizing Mascara. I really want to try this. So I'm excited to try it this week. And then on top of that, I purchased this Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder in medium. And I want to try this one too. And the last thing in here, I'm going to add this bougie lipstick case with a lipstick inside and the lipstick inside. It is from Dior and it is in um, 080 and it is in Red Smile. It's a beautiful red and I want to try that. I'm going to show you the swatches at the end and now let's go shopping. For foundation... Um, I haven't played with this one yet. This is new, actually. It's from Heart Candy. Um, Glam of... Glamouflage. Ooh, okay. This is full coverage. Supposed to be 16-hour wear. Oil-free. Okay, I'm gonna take this one out and try it this week. But I'm also gonna take the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation as well. For powders, I already have one, or the one from Dior, but I'm also going to get this one from Revolution Pro. This is CC Perfect and Press Powder. This one is very close to finish it, so I'm going to try to get closer to finishing it this week. Now for bronzers and blushes, I think I'm going to do the hourglass i'm gonna do the hourglass blush and also the hourglass bronzer if i can find it in here it should be somewhere in here <laughs> oh this one right here and also i think i have a one from uh another hourglass thing as well i'm gonna try to find that and put that in too for primer and setting spray um, I don't think I'm going to get another setting spray, but for primer, um, should we try this one again? Let's go with this one. I really do enjoy this one. So either this one, the glossy one from, um, Touch and Soul, or should I go with the Miracle Cream from June and Co.? 
let me get let me take this one out because i might be able to finish it this week i'm very close to finish it and will be really amazing if i would do that so i'll take this one out and then uh for a concealer i don't have that many concealers as you can see um but i think i'm gonna do Let's do this one. We'll do the benefit one from uh, Bowen Cakeless Concealer. And then I do have this one in here that I want to finish it. So we're going to do this one from Fenty Beauty. This is an eye primer. I'm going to choose another highlighter just to have it. I'm going to go with another Hourglass product. And then for lip liner, let's see what I have in here. Um... Let's do Kylie. I'm going to do Kylie. This one is in Ulta. And I'm thinking I'm good from here. I have enough lipsticks for now. Now let's find out a eyeshadow palette. So this week I think I'm going to do two. I was talking about that I want to try this one a little bit more. The Transition Palette from Dominic Cosmetics. So I'm going to take this one out. And then I want another small one. I think I want to go with this. I want some greens this week. So I'm going to go with Star Wars Mandalorian um, eyeshadow palette. Alright, so here are the face products. I have this one, uh, Dior Backstage in 4N. I really do like how this looks like, how it feels. I have it swatched right over here you don't see much but it is so pretty right next to it i have the um bronzer from uh, hourglass and this one it is in uh, radiant bronze light and then i have the blush right there from hourglass as well this one it is in uh ambient diffuse heat and then the highlighter from hourglass is this one right here and this one is in uh, gold flash really like this i love how this color looks on me as well and then the uh high the other highlighter is this one right here from too faced that one it is you light up my life in love light and then the powder the other powder is right here swatch right next between the uh the two highlighters and this one is from revolution pro okay so next in here i have the hard candy foundation and this is in warm beige 1510 the pat mcgrath foundation which is in um light medium 14 and then the concealer which is in number five and then the lipsticks i told you i have 080 red smile and then i have the uh, dragon velvet dragon from lisa aldrich and then the other lipstick from dior forever 820 i have everything swatched right here so the first foundation it is the um hard candy one the second one is from pat mcgrath the third uh, swatch is the concealer the fourth swatch is the lipstick the liquid lipstick from dior the other one, one next to it it is the one from lisa aldrich the other one is the one, red one in 808 from dior and that lip liner it is from um kylie jenner in ulta beauty and here are the two eyeshadow palettes that I decided to go with. This is the one from Colourpop and this is from uh, Dominic Cosmetics. I cannot wait to play with these this week. It's going to be really fun to create some beautiful looks. I also decided to go with this lip balm that is from Hard Candy. Um, and is I haven't tried it yet. This is Dripping in Diamonds. It's supposed to be red. But pretty much this is what I have in for this week. 
I can't wait to try them and play with them. I have a feeling this is going to be an amazing week. I cannot wait to tell you how this mascara is on the lipsticks. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you all next week back here to discuss more makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.